Okay, so today I'm going to show you guys a formula to calculate the circular mills for any given American wire gauge. So, in the 2017 National Electric Codebook, uh, in this page here, you have in the left hand column the wire gauge uh, 18, 16, 14, all the way down to 1, and then you have 1 aught, 2 aught, 3 aught, and 4 aught. In the third column, you have the circular mill. So the reason that I have decided to make this video is because I like to document certain things. And maybe somebody will find this useful, but our teacher in class give, has given us a homework assignment. And he told us to go home and to prepare for a quiz coming up. He told us to remember the circular mills for every American wire gauge and for me I would rather find the formula and ace, ace the quiz so I'm gonna show you that formula so we're gonna start out with uh, uh, first you need to find the key now I am no mathematician and my interpretation or my understanding I may be misleading you into improper terminology of, uh, of how to use a calculator or whatnot. So this key right here, on my calculator it is X and Y. So what that is, I believe, is to the power of. So we have 6 to the power of 4 gives us 1,296. So what that is, is 6 times 6 times 6 times 6, 4 times, there you go. So 6 to the power of 4, 1,296. So once you identify that key you can proceed with this equation so you have 5 okay we're gonna start out with parentheses 5 times 92 to the power of and we're gonna add another parenthesis we're gonna type 36 minus the gauge of wire and that is 12 gauge close out that parenthesis for this the subtraction and then divide by 39, close out that parenthesis, and then close out the very first parenthesis, and hit square. And now you have 6,529 KC mil, which if you round up, that would be 5,000, I'm sorry, 6,530 KC mil. And if we go to 12 gauge, 6,000, 530 kc mil and we can do this all the way down and uh, I have discovered a problem in the 2017 National Electric Codebook which maybe it's not a problem at all maybe some mathematician has a specific reason for fudging up this uh, six gauge wire so I'll go to my equation and we'll change the 12 gauge to six gauge and you have 26,251. Now, to properly round this to the nearest tenth, I would say that it's 26,250. But if we check the National Electric Codebook, 26,000 for 6 gauge, 26,240. So they did something weird here. You'll have to remember in 6 gauge wire, that they fumble fucked it so round down to that 40 mark and then let's double check the 4 gauge wire let's change it to 4 gauge 41,741 now to properly round down to the nearest tenth I would say 41,740 let's check it 4 gauge wire third column over 41,740 so remember that mistake. Now, this teacher said that he is basing his answers directly out of this book. So regardless if you provide the accurate answer, he's going off of what's in the book. So let's double check third gauge, th I'm sorry, three gauge, two gauge, and one gauge. And let's check. So we have three gauge, 52,000. 630 would be my guess to properly round down. Wait a minute, what did I do? 
52,634 for 3 gauge. Wait, 52,620, okay. They did it again. So they rounded down. They lost the whole tenth, or they've rounded down by 14. So if, if you follow what, what they've done here. I don't know if that's a mistake or there's a, a proper reason for it, but let's check 2 gauge. 66,370 if you round properly. So they did it again. 66,360. They round down a whole tenth, nine, or actually 11 places, 11 points, whatever. So one gauge. Let's check one gauge. 83,692. I would say 690 is a proper uh, rounding of a number. So there you go. So you'll have to make note, mental note of six gauge, I believe four, three, and two to fumble fuck it. So there you go. National Electric Code Book, they fumble fuck everything. So there you have it. Now, one aught, two aught, three aught, and four aught. So that is actually kind of tricky to do on this calculator. But you're actually going to go negative. We'll start with negative 3. That's going to represent 4 aughts. So 36 minus negative 3 divided by 39. And that is 92 to the power of n 5 times n then squared. So 211, 600. So this one actually came out to an even number. So for 211,600. We'll go to 2. 167,800 is what I would say. 167,800. Looks like they're rounding to the nearest hundredth. So 2 aught. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's actually 2 aught is done with a 1. So 133. Or would they go 100? Okay, they went 100. 133, 100. Yeah, whatever. So, one aught, I believe, is actually done as a solid 36. So we could actually just remove the parentheses. 105. 105,500. Okay, they went 600. So there is a little bit of a trick here that it takes some mental note. Take, I'm sure if you sit here and practice it over and over and over again, and you better rem get a visual and remember these numbers, you can ace this test as well. So there you have it.